Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial for Garotic Thoughts on Autotrain. Autotrain is a module which is designed to build gear trains, compound gear trains for you and to assist you in setting up gear ratios and it includes a few toys that are a lot more complex than anything that we've seen in Garotic Motion. So in this video I think the best way to uh, show you how to use Autotrain is to design a clock we're going to design the clock which is currently on the screen in front of us. I'm going to do it twice, once very quickly. Um, if you find that you have questions or are having difficulty catching up, don't worry about it. Uh, wait until the second time through. The second time through building the clock I will explain each step as I go. One quick thing I'll point out uh, on the screen that we're looking at, this is a clock I just built a couple minutes ago, and as you click around the screen and select various items, you'll notice the display on the side now includes data such as the number of times the master has to rotate for this gear to rotate once, and it also has the time of rotation. So if I was to click on the various indicators on this clock, for example this hour hand, you can see it's telling me the time of rotation is 12 hours. Uh, it's an exact ratio. The auto train module is very good at giving you the exact ratios you're going to need for anything. Uh, hours, hands, minutes. Um, you can add phase of the moon and so on to this clock in as little as five seconds. So let's take a look by starting from scratch and building this clock. Okay, I have cleared the screen. I'm going to uh, put on a recoil escapement nice and easy to deal with. Right click and set it to 30 seconds time of rotation because it does have 30 teeth and I'm going to use a one second pendulum on it. Um, due to the fact that it is going to turn once uh, or twice a minute means we can't use it for our second hand unless we put on a 2 to 1 ratio somewhere. So I'm going to just load up a quick 2 to 1 ratio and add that to my project and I'll just set this here. Now this 2 to 1 ratio um, I'm going to rotate it downwards and then I'm going to move it to a centralized shaft location so that it looks like we all have one shaft and all that is pretty good so shaft 3 is now turning on a one minute basis so I'm going to go back to our uh, auto train and since we're we've got a pair which is turning uh, once a minute we can set minute to 60 minutes pick a two pair run uh, there's a couple gears that will do us we'll just add that to the project pick a shaft I'm going to pick our shaft for that spur gear and flip this around and now we can just move this on gear, move it down here so it's in a spot that kind of looks better. And I'm going to move the upper one shaft to shaft and take it up to the center as well. I'm going to respoke that so that we can see through it. And now I've got a So now I've got a shaft which is running uh, once per hour. So now we need one which is going to run once per 12 hours if we want to call it a clock. So we'll go back to the circular and I will say minute or hour to 12 hours and we'll generate that as a two pair. There we have a zero error so we'll just add this to the project. I will add this to the shaft. Move this up to a good location. Okay, I'm going to move this gear to our shaft 3, which is our one minute shaft. I'm going to respoke it. Okay, now we appear to have a clock. Let's put some indicators on it. Let's put a second hand indicator on shaft 3. And I'm going to move that indicator with move on gear and point it straight upwards. I'm now going to grab another indicator, grab a minute hand, and take it off of shaft 5, which is our one hour. Use move on gear to straighten that to the top. 
and then we can add one more hand which would be our full hour hand and we'll put that on our final shaft up here and there we have it we have a complete clock I'm just gonna say move on gear to make that point upward as well and now if we start a simulation we have a working clock I'm gonna speed it up so that you can see all the hands moving um, you'll notice that all the gears in this clock are different colors as they come up this is a new option which is in the options menu uh, if you look at the options menu you'll find a checkbox for auto increment gears and this will change gear color only the, this is evolute gears uh, and any gears created by the round dialog will then increment in color if you have that selected um, it makes it much easier to see things and with the new options in the program you can click on any gear in this train and you'll see what the time of rotation of that particular gear is this one is an hour this one for example rotates uh, one minute per shaft and by clicking through you'll find gears that are rotating at four minutes per rotation and so on and so forth but the clock is now built and there we have it. We have a clock built. It took probably two minutes to build. All the ratios are correct, and the program created all the gear trains for us so that everything will fit. So now we can try this going slowly and explaining each step along the way so that you can uh, experiment with it yourself.